Peter Daszak is the president of the ECO Health Alliance, and I asked him if African swine fever could be transmitted to other species. It seems to be just a pig virus, which is good news, actually, and because it's very widespread and, you know, we would be exposed otherwise. So the answer is no. Right now, it cannot infect people, and we don't think it will be able to in the future. Well, what should humans be concerned about? Talk us through the bigger picture impacts if this particular virus cannot be controlled. Well, the real impact is it's a shift in livestock production. You know, China is the biggest consumer of pork on the planet. 120 plus million um, pigs were consumed in China last year. Now, right now, we know that about a million plus pigs have been culled by the government to control the outbreak. But there's probably a much bigger impact on the industry. There are probably many other tens of millions of pigs that have, that have either died or had to be culled. So the, the immediate impact is a rise in pork prices. Already more than 36% increase in pork in China. It's going to affect Southeast Asia. It's going to affect the global economy on pork. So that's the real impact right now. What's being done uh, behind the scenes right now to formulate a vaccine and to help find a cure for African swine fever? Uh, why has it been so difficult to get those things accomplished? Yeah, some viruses are easy to produce vaccines to. Um, if, if you get infected by a virus, you create a, a strong immune response so the antibodies work, the vaccine works. But in this case, it just doesn't seem to be working. There's been a lot of effort to do that. And there are some vaccine candidates coming through that could potentially work in the future. But really, we sh what we should be looking at now are control measures. And I think the good news is the Chinese government has done a good job working with, um, and with global partners to deal with the, with the outbreak. Culling pigs, that means if a farmer gets an infected pig, all of the flock is killed, and that's a big impact. So reimbursing those farmers at the market price, um, creating a zone around the farms where pigs aren't allowed to move in and out, and trying just to block the transmission of the virus. And I think that's helped damp down the outbreak to some extent. So do you think we have seen the worst of African swine fever, or is it still on the horizon? What's your overall assessment on the future and where things stand? It's really hard to say, but when you look at the data, um, there have been more outbreaks in previous months than right now. What we're seeing now is the impact. So we've now lost pigs out of the production supply, so we're going to see the prices increase, and people are going to notice. So I think with the public reaction is going to be stronger over the next few months, which is an important issue. Um, hopefully, the outbreak will become more stable and the control measures will continue to work. But one thing that's sure is that we will see a different way that we have to understand pig production in China in the future, because this virus is really hard to get rid of. It's likely to be here for many years.